In this video we want to calculate the value for a simple moving average and output the value on the chart. So let's find out how to do that with MQL5. Please click on the little button here or press F4 in MetaTrader. Now you should see the Meta Editor window and here you want to click on File, New, Expert Advisor from Template, Continue. I will call this file simple moving average, click on continue, continue and finish. Now you can delete everything above the onTick function and the two command lines here. We start by creating an array for the simple moving average. And you can think of an array like a row of boxes that contain values. Let's continue with the definition of the moving average. We use the integrated MQL5 function IMA. If you highlight it and press F1, you will see that it needs a few parameters. The first parameter underscore symbol is used to automatically find out what kind of symbol is used on the chart. In my case, it's the currency pair Australian dollar against yen. The second parameter underscore period contains the value of the time frame that is used on the current chart. I'm using the M1 chart for 1 minute candles right now. The third parameter is the number of candles that we are going to use to calculate the moving average. In our case we use 20 candles. When you put your mouse over the moving average you will see 20 in round braces behind the moving average here. That stands for 20 candles. This parameter here is the starting point. We will start the calculation based on the current candle 0. We use mode underscore SMA to calculate a simple moving average. And we use price underscore close in the last parameter because we want to calculate the moving average values based on the close price. Now we use copy buffer. To fill our moving average array with data, based on the moving average definition that we have created here, we start from candle 0, we do it for buffer 0, that's the red line here, the only indicator line that we have for a moving average. The Bollinger Bands indicator for example would have three lines, so that would be buffer 0, 1 or 2. We start with the current candle 0 and we copy the price data for 3 candles and store it in our array. To calculate the moving average for candle 1, that's the last complete candle that appears on the chart, we can use the value for candle 1 in our moving average array and store it in a variable called my moving average 20. Finally, we want to Use the command function to create an output on the chart saying my moving average 20 followed by the value that we have calculated. That's it so far. Now you can click on the compile button or press F7 on your keyboard. I'm getting a warning here, possible loss of data due to type conversion because I am using a floating type. That means we have Less digits behind the dot, but for our simple example that should be enough. So when you're done, and when you don't have any errors, you can click on the little button here or press F4 to go back to MetaTrader. And in MetaTrader we want to click on View, Strategy Tester or press Ctrl and R. Please pick the new file simplemovingaverage.ex5, mark the visualization option here and start a test. Now you should see the moving average, it's the red line here on the chart. And in the left upper corner we have the calculated value. So let's have a look at the value for the moving average. Remember we have calculated it for candle 1. In my case it is 83.4845. That's exactly what we have here in our value. And in this little video you have learned how to calculate the values for a moving average and how to create an output on the chart. And you have done it with a few lines of MQL5 code.